type item. Actually, it's BTK, I do believe. Rain gear. I picked this up for rain gear, you know. Uh, I've always wanted Gore-Tex and didn't really want to pay the couple hundred dollars for US multicam. I don't even care for multicam. I don't even think I have anything in multicam. So, and this is around 100, I think. I jumped on it and I got tired of using a poncho because ponchos are, well, they're ponchos. They kind of suck ass. So I got this. I ordered gloves, but the guy forgot to ship them to me. So I'm really reviewing some Ratnik gloves. That's a side point. So this Gore-Tex, I've used it once. And not at that event, it didn't rain. Which I'm happy with, it didn't fucking rain. Because that would have sucked ass. But, I did use it at a rain day, and it was... A rain day. A range day, and it was raining. It worked very well. I didn't get wet. It held up really well. I went prone, kneeling. Did all different types of stuff that day. I have some footage I'll probably be putting up. You'll be using my GoPro on my helmet here. Yep. So you won't really get to see my gear so much as maybe just my arms. You'll see I'll be wearing this. Overall, very happy with it. I'm gonna go ahead and take this gear off now and show you some of the features of the uniform. All right, so the top. You have some breathing vents. It gets a little warm. You can breathe or just put your hands inside here. So, you got those two breathing vents there. The front, you got Velcro, and then another flap, and then the zipper. Really Gore-Tex material here. It's very lightweight. It packs well. Do have some pull cords, some cinch cords along the bottom. Also, the hood. Also has some cinch points, which is nice. Um, you have some shoulder rank, blank, blank, uh, blank rank things. Uh, pointless for me, seeing as though I'm not actually a member of the Russian military, because go America. So, there's the top. The bottoms has an elastic waistband. I ordered large just to make sure it wasn't going to be too small. Uh, it does have belt loops and it has these pull cords, which I use more so than a belt because uh, it's more so a uniform that goes over another uniform. And a belt on top of a belt sometimes can suck. And then plus your LBV, that's another belt, as it's uncomfortable. You got one button and then a zipper on the sides. You have a pocket that leads to the inside similar to the 6SH122 6SH suit. It's not an actual pocket because it is an over suit. So it goes, it allows you access to your other pockets. And along the legs, you have a Velcro and zipper system in case you need to get them off over gear and you can undo the belt throat and unzip them all the way up to here the knee section feels a little more rough in the extra thickness which is good because when you take a knee you don't want to rip these things and then you're fucked and that's pretty much it. I do believe these are BTK. Uh, all the other items I've shown were Ratnik series. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the series. Oh, I almost forgot. Stay cheeky, bricky, my friends. Be safe in the zone.